Hey guys, how you all doing? And ting, and ting, and ting. And uh, we're going to watch another one, all right? I'm going to lighten it up a bit here, you know. I'm going to look at a beautiful spot, a beautiful something about Romania. And this one is Romania's world famous road. Uh, what's it? The Transfagrasian? Transfagra. Rasan, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll figure it out during the video and take you understand. I've seen pictures of this place before and I'm like, whoo, boy, that looks like a nice drive. Seeing me bumping, you understand when I say a thing? Let's go ahead and YouTube and see, 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 check out something about this uh this uh highway. Let's check it out. The Transfagarshan Highway is one of the most beautiful and wonderful places we have ever been. Between the bears, the mountains, the views, the lakes, it is just incredible. So strap in and let's get started. Okay, okay. Today we are doing maybe the most popular thing here to do in Romania. We are driving on the Transfagarshan Highway. Transfagarshan. We drove two hours to get to the start of the road. We're here at a gas station right now before we take the drive up there. All I'm right. So excited. We'll Let's see go. what's up there. It's supposed to be like the most beautiful drive maybe in the entire world. I know there's a lot of like tricky turns, maybe bears, a lake. We'll see what we're in for. Originally, I didn't even know if we were on the Transfagarshan until we were like already here. At first, it was just like a lot of houses. There were a few hotels too, a few restaurants, but really it just looked like a normal just city. And then all of a sudden, we're like, oh yeah, we're in the mountains now. Oh yeah. First impressions of the highway are, wow, it is so green. Everywhere you look is... You see that uh, little body of water meander in there that's like a river on the island and that might even be too big but those are so peaceful and you can just go sit on there and right here sitting there looking at that that just seems so peaceful look at all that green you know what i'm saying and take look at that oh yeah now i would love to drive that bad boy just insanely green these mountains are beautiful it's already a little bit chilly i know that when we get to like the top of it it's gonna be way colder but right now we are at Vlad's castle and it's like way up on this hill over here. <laughs> it's way up there. Oh, it's actually castle. closed right now for renovations, so we can't go up it. Oh. But we can look at it from here. Here is the sign for Vlad's castle. There he is right there in the corner. He killed a lot of people i mean when they were fighting against the turks because they were trying to invade this area i mean he would just capture them and impale them on sticks and it would be a very brutal death and he killed almost sick he killed at least sixty thousand. like those are confirmed that's it's probably crazy. more and he killed romanian people too that's, oh really that's crazy yeah and the reason they got the idea for like dracula from him was because when they would like impale the people, the blood would splatter on his food and he would still eat it. And it was just like totally normal for him to just like eat their blood. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's an interesting I don't know. history, all right? I don't know about that one there. <laughs> that just looked like an old wife's tail right there. Oh, man. They just chilling on the side of the road. Oh. Oh. Hi, buddy. Oh, my gosh, he's so close. oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm staying in the car, though. Now, on the community page, hey, uh, check out my community page. I, 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 I try to post there at least once a day I, I skip some days sometimes but i'm going to get more vigilant about it but uh, i spoke of my friend in virginia his name is scott hall and I, I go to visit him there sometimes and we go walking in the mountains in uh, virginia oh, so beautiful it's so beautiful there uh if you ever come to america virginia lots of farmers markets lots of good uh, natural food to eat and take from those farmers markets and all of that but uh i have never seen a bear there but he said he went walking one time and as he, he came around the corner, there's a bear just standing there. So he, he froze and they froze and they watched each other for a while. And then the bear sauntered off and went down into the, uh, into the bushes and thing. But uh, you could see those there. He also told me a story one time where he went up to that highland, high, is that a, it's highland? 
something. So that's what it's called. I, one of these days, I'll get the name of it for him. And I was there, and I don't remember it. But he said uh, he came around the corner, and there's a whole lot of cars stopped. And he noticed <laughs> people standing under a tree. And up in the tree is a mother bear, and she had two cubs. And people are right under there going, click, 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 taking pictures, you know. So the mother bear started to come down. They still standing there. Click, 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 and the mother bear went, Rawr, and growled like that. That's why he said, hey, y'all might want to move. I think she wants to come down with her cubs. That's when they move. See, I wouldn't get that close to the bear. I'd be sitting in the car, click, 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 click. hey, you're good from a distance there. You know what I mean? Why would you invade this space like that? You know what I mean? No, even some human beings don't want their spaces invaded like that. Why would you go invade the space of a wild animal like that? I'll be like them. I'm sitting in the car. Oh, so cute. You know what I'm saying? This drop is insane. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I don't even think you can tell, but I don't even know how many feet that would be. That's crazy. That's a crazy drop, what yeah. The heck? We have made it to our second stop on the highway, and this one is a dam, and oh my goodness, you guys, the drop is insane, and these mountains are just like pure stone and trees, and we already saw a brown bear, honestly, within the first like 10 minutes of the drive. It wasn't that big of a bear, it was kind of small, like I feel like it was probably a female or like a really young, young-ish cub, but... I already checked that one off the transfiguration bucket list. So that side over there has no water, but we get a really, really nice view with the water and the trees in the background. Here, let me show you. This is so pretty. Oh, Look at this. Lord. Wow. Yeah, that it's is gorgeous. It's so chilly, too. That's a beautiful view. I'm so happy to be deep in the mountains like this. Makes me so happy. Wow. Of course, it was so, so cool to see that brown bear just sitting there on the side of the road, but unfortunately, we only were able to stop for a few seconds to take just a, some quick videos of it. Because we're in a tour right now, we did not rent a car for this road. We originally tried to do that, but uh, things didn't go as planned. So we rented a car online, but then whenever we would go to the place to like talk to them about it, it was always closed. So we just canceled that, and then we decided to do a tour. But I feel like this is nice, because Jacob doesn't have to drive, we can just enjoy the views, okay. and we don't have to worry about parking, because parking on even this spot has oh, already yeah. been crazy. So honestly, it might have been like a little bit of a blessing in disguise. Okay, I'll I do mean, a tour honestly, then. It looks pretty easy to drive on, but the parking situation looks a little bit rough. So we've already seen one bear. Let's see how many we can see on the transfiguration. We already saw four bears outside of Brasov, which was like our biggest dream ever. So it's crazy that we've already seen a bear and we'll see how many we can see. We'll keep a running tally. So far we've seen one. I think our tour guide said the most that she's ever seen on this road was 24. That's insane. Oh, by the way, someone else uh, uh, contributed to the buy me a coffee there. I would like to thank them so much for doing that. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. And uh, all the proceeds go back to getting this vibe going, getting better equipment and stuff like that. So, so those who have donated, that's what's gonna, that's what's happening. And thank you so much for doing that. And uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. And when I started doing this, I didn't think that uh, people would like watching me so much that they would want to do something like that. You understand? The link is in the description if you're so inclined. But again, thank you. And uh, yeah, I never ask for anything. I never, I don't even advertise my, my, my t shirt store on there. You know, if you're all feeling inclined, there it is. I'm not going to be pushing anything on anybody. I love doing this learning about everything else and i hope by me watching these videos other people who watch these videos that are not from like romania or not from like ireland or from where I, the videos i watch will learn something too because since i was a child i keep learning about the world that i live in if we learn about the world that we live in man and we get to know each other and have some kind of an understanding of each other as human beings not as political beings not as uh, religious beings not as uh, any kind of ideological beings but just as human beings 
We could get along, we could enjoy each other, we could go visit each other like this. We should be freely moving to visit each other without all the barriers of like that place is this and that place is that or this government does this. We should be, we have to freely move and go enjoy stuff like this. You understand what I say? Think about it, you know what I mean? And yeah, everything costs money. You pay to go there. You help the local people who come sell stuff to you, you know what I mean? Uh, you go to the local restaurants and you keep them open. So in essence, when you do that, we're helping each other out. You understand what I'm saying? Thing? So let's learn about each other. It's cool. Let's keep going with that. But thank you all. Bunches and bunches. I think a tow, a tow bus is going to be the vibe for me, boy. Bear number two. Yeah. I've never seen one in real life. Never have. Not even in a zoo. Oh, that one is a big boy. Number three already. That's oh, a yeah, we nice one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Number Still look powerful, though. Oh, wow. Look at Looks like there's little villages all up the mountain as you go up. People who live up there, I bet they really love uh, nature. Is that a donkey? Was that a donkey? That would be another cool ride, you know what I mean? Go up there on a bike. Oh yeah, that'd be a cool ride. And I don't mind all the uh, turns because on the island, man, sometimes you turn and it looks like you're going back in the direction that you just came and then you loop back up and up in mountains and stuff like that. Not this like this, but Absolutely mountains. insane. Look at these views. Look at that drop. This is... Oh, I can't not even believe my eyes. As soon as we came out of this tree line, the views just got so Whoa. insane beautiful in these turns we're pretty much just making you turns like every few seconds this is this is insane oh my gosh look at all of these sheep Whoa. there's literally hundreds of them hundreds oh and there's the dog oh this is so cool and they're just up the side of the mountain oh my gosh Whew, gotta put on my jacket it's getting a a little bit chilly. I'm not swimming that thing. I mean, we're pretty much just like in the sky, so makes sense <laughs> that it's cold. We're at like 2,400 meters. What? I have no idea what that is in feet. Yeah. But... I, wonder, I wonder how much wow. how hard it's going to be to breathe up I there. I literally cannot believe this place. So we started on the south side of the road, headed north on this entire journey. And so a lot of it was trees for the most part, which are definitely beautiful. And now we're here in the rocks and the mountains. And there are sheep too. Like this is so cool. I mean, I honestly think that this view right now is better because the mountains are just that much taller or at least you can see it and the trees i mean that's great too but i mean i love it right now yeah so we went through this tunnel and it was totally blue sky sunny everything and then when we came out of it we were just in the clouds i don't even know how that's possible we literally went through the mountain popped out on this side and apparently it just completely changes the weather yeah i had no idea like i don't even think we were like climbing up the hill on the tunnel just for whatever reason we just came out and now it's like i'm so happy that it's not like completely covered in fog like mm -hmm. you can still see the lake yeah. perfectly fine but like 10 20 feet above us it's just like completely cloudy and the lake is so clear like what is this pl like my mind is completely blown right now like the bears already had me having a great day and then we came out of that tree line and it just blew away my wildest expectations like i i feel like i'm honestly at a loss for words i know i just talked a lot <laughs> I still feel like I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, just look at how blue and clear that water is. Wow. I did ask our tour guide if I could get in the lake, and she said, uh, no, it's illegal. I really wanted to pull our plunge. We literally it's illegal. Brought Nobody seat. swims there. I wouldn't, like, oh, swim wow. in the lake. I would just, like, jump in, get out really quick. But, yeah, she told me it was illegal, so that's kind of sad, but it's okay. Why is it illegal? Is Comment down below. Cold. <laughs> this is, like, how drastically the weather and the climate changes, like... 
what what is this place this is like a magical like forest like all the way here in these trees and there's bears and then you come out and then you're like in the clouds with the lake what and it's all on the same road i mean we just drove straight we didn't make any turns for like 80 kilometers i mean we made lots and lots and lots of turns <laughs> just but not any one off the road yeah it's just the same highway like this is crazy and now we are like in a cloud but we still have more to hike. Well, I'm just trying to get to the tallest point so that, like, maybe we won't even be able to see anything at all. You already, like, can't see this yeah. restaurant that's right here. That, I mean, we walked just up this tiny hill and we could see it perfectly fine. And now it's, now it's basically gone. Yep. Wow, this is, um, kind of terrifying. There's, you just, I guess we're just going to go up, but there's like no railing. And if you fall, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I almost just did. I'm scared of heights. Uh, I don't know where you'd end up. Probably in the lake, but probably break a few bones on your way down. Whew. I think we're at the top of this little peak right here. And... I ain't lying, boy. That would be kind of ominous uh, going up there and uh, you're in the clouds and you can only see what's in front of you. Uh, you, you don't be like walking on clouds and thing, you know what I'm saying? Wow. That would be a nice little feeling there. I mean, on the mountains I went up on in a... Uh, one in Asheville, South Carolina, that's another cool one there. And in Virginia, uh, it didn't go high up enough for this to happen. You know, you could see for miles and stuff like that. But this would be interesting. You can't see, but it's so beautiful in there because you're kind of like lost in the clouds. Wow. That's, that's kind of romantic there. Lost in the clouds. <laughs> wow. It is so cold. I need to get our blanket out of here. Oh my gosh, my hands are freezing. I know. Got out our gravel travel blanket right here. I need this immediately. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. I just uh, stepped off the she hill. almost just died. <laughs> no, I would have been fine, mostly. This is our favorite travel blanket. We seriously bring it everywhere with us. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. It's so soft. We use it when we sleep at airports, when we're on the beach, and now when we're on the top the of this of Romania. Wow. <laughs> we gotta get snuggles. Okay, I'll let me get in. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this is so warm. We have a link for it, too, if you want to uh, buy it for yourself. It's in the description of this video. They also have other really, really good travel products that we love. Our toiletry kit is from them, and it's just the best. We bring it with us everywhere we go. So if you need any new travel gear, definitely check them out. They are amazing. The clouds kind of come and go, but look, we can Whoa. finally see the lake from up here. Yeah. It's so cool. Got really cold, and so we're going back down now. Probably going to find some food while we're here since we have about an hour and a half stop here. And I'm trying to film this while going down this really steep cliff. There we go, I made it. There is a restaurant that you can go to over there in the cloud, but there was a lot of little like street vendors over here. Yeah. And that's kind of calling our name. See, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about right there. Local street vendors. That's who I would go buy stuff from. I wouldn't go to any stores or anything, street food. Look at that, you know what I mean? That's the best place to find uh souvenirs. Like I'm from a tourist island myself, you know what I mean? Uh Going to stores and thing, yeah, because it's going to be a little different to where you're from. But the local vendors who make their own stuff, you know what I mean? It might be a little expensive in some cases. I don't know about here, but why not? You understand what I mean? I'd rather give them the money. You know, I'd rather give them the money. And that's what I'm talking about. We should be free in mass to do stuff like that. Not just so I have the money now. Oh, we here, we work nine to five, we're gonna bust our tail and bust our tail and don't have time or money to do stuff like this. Can you imagine how well educated we would be in the world if we could just travel to each other's places and not just have it as a business venture like uh, the university that I go to, you could do exchange students. In high school here, you could do exchange students and stuff like that. But it's businesses setting it up to do it i personally think governments should set it up you know the government should have a branch to set it up so that we could learn about each other 
You know what I mean? And, and, and have kids understanding how it is to be ambassadors of places to where they come from. Instead of isolating them, because once you isolate people, then they start having misconceptions of the other people. And when you have misconceptions of the other people, you tend to go into the direction of, I'm better than them, I have more than them, or this is wrong with them. Because you're isolating and you don't know what's going on. The amount of uh, misnomers that was uh, recanted to me about where I'm from when I first came here. Imagine if they go visit. Most of them wouldn't want to come back because it's so nice and peaceful there. You know what I mean? The blue skies and stuff. Same thing. Look at this, man. Who oh, did? I guarantee you, if some people from the mountains here was to visit there, they probably won't won't want to come back. And I know that sounds kind of uh, extreme there, but I mean, it's everyday people. Look at these people. You know, they have the little booth and they they just live in life. You know, more than. More than not, they probably doesn't even pay attention to all the politics that's going on. You know what I mean? They're just trying to survive. And so we're going to go do that. I really, really, really want to get one of those like swirl donut things. I think they're called Kurtos. And it looks like they have them over there. So that's where we're headed now. Looks like we found it. <laughs> Kurtos and Longos. I'm so excited. Now that we walk back down the hill, it like instantly changes and it's still really cold, but not as cold as up there. So we're going to put our blanket away, especially because I need some free hands to eat my Kurtos. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm so excited that we get to try this Kurtos, Kurtos, however you say it. I mean, we've kind of missed out on the street food of Romania. It looks like there's a lot here. There's Longos over there. There's crepes. Uh, we've had crepes, so I guess that counts a little bit. <laughs> now it's time to taste. Waiting for Jacob to film that was the hardest thing ever because I really just wanted to rip into this. I have waited so long to try one of these. How do I even? It's huge. It's huge. We got it for 25 lei, so that's like five dollars, six dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, and it's like cool. Just eat it like that. Mmm. The sugar. It's so thick. It's literally so crunchy and delicious. Ours isn't that hot, but a lot of people's were like smoking. Wow, I could just eat this forever. This is a great lunch. <laughs> First bite of food for the day. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, now that we've eaten uh, close to half of it, how are we feeling? I feel like I need something that's not sugar. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. Rush. I, mean, I really, really like it, but... Yeah, for the first thing that we're eating all, all of today, we need a little bit more substance. Let's go get some corn. Yeah, I've that, seen that a lot. We've seen it everywhere in Romania. Really? Probably natural. Oh, wait a minute. There's an Uber. What's that? We should have taken that up. Was that roasted corn I saw there? You know, and that's what I'm talking about, that being the isolation thing. You know, I lived most of my life on the island. I did some traveling and stuff. And I did, but mostly in that region, right? But, like, I, I just saw roasted corn in, in, in Romania, you know what I mean? This, this roasted corn is something we do at home, you know what I mean? And we have this, uh, what we call a coal pot. And at night, or just as when the, it's turning into nighttime, we blaze up the coal pot, put some corn that we pick out of our backyard, mind you, and roast that sucker up and eat that. I just saw roasted corn. Wow, that's kind of cool. Because when I say roasted corn here... A lot of people don't really know what it is. I've run into a few people who go, yeah, I do it on the grill and stuff like that, you know. But not a lot of people talk about roasted corn here. Man, I haven't eaten a good roasted corn in a long time. And I'm definitely going to wait until I get to where it's natural corn. And not the stuff you get in the grocery store to roast it. Because I know it's not going to taste any different. And I'm not spoiling my taste bud on my roasted corn for nobody. Let's get back to the video. Here. We got a little bit of corn. We've seen this everywhere, so... He asked if we wanted salt, and of course we said yes. And this one was... See, we don't just put salt, man. You know, all kind of seasoning up on that bad boy, you understand what I mean? But yeah, we love our corn dung. They eat a lot of corn dung, especially where everybody grows it in their backyard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? It's juicy? Juicy because it's probably natural. I wonder uh, if you natural. can see that in the camera. I literally bit into it, and it just squirted juice everywhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is so juicy and so salty and delicious. This is the life. Eating corn and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Nice and hot on a cold day. Yeah, you can still see the... Oh my gosh, did you see that squirt? 
You know, I got it on your face. Yeah. Do you see that steam coming out of it? Yeah, I don't really know why corn is so popular in Romania, but, I mean, I I've seen... like every city. I feel like I've seen lots of cornfields, actually. Oh, yeah, that's totally true. That it's, makes easy, it's easy to plant them in The transformation them in pain. has honestly exceeded all of my expectations. And we're only, like, halfway done. We've already seen three bears. Three. And then this place is so magical. The road is a little bit terrifying when you get above the tree line, but... Other than that, the road's been like super solid and it's only scary at that part because you're so high up and you're just turning and turning and turning and there's sheer drops and there's sheep. Like, I know I already said this once, but it is such like a little, like, I literally feel like I'm in like a magic Disney forest. Jacob's over there just enjoying the Kurtos. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm not totally convinced that swimming in this lake is illegal. I mean, I read like a lot of blogs and they were like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't do it or I wouldn't recommend it. But nobody ever said like it's against the law. But Jenny is going to touch it to see how cold it is. Oh, it's not even that cold. Well. I mean, I'm sure it's cold out there. But right here, it really is pretty moderate. I'm down to jump in. I'm down too, but I'm not trying to get arrested. <laughs> the first time you can see the tops of these little peaks. All of a sudden, I just saw a person flying through the air, like over the mountains, and I was like, what the heck? And then I remembered that they have zip lining here. So this is really like the hot what? spot of the Transfiguration. There's so much food. There's a apparently a lot of activities. I'll do that. Well, I haven't seen a bear here yet, so it's missing out on that aspect. Oh, that 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 that, uh, that lake looked like glass, like a, a big slab of glass just resting on water. Looks like you could walk on it or something. It is so massive. It's huge. Oh. days we've had in Romania. I didn't think that I could get any better and it just keeps getting better and better. What a place. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Just look at these insane turns and we are so high up right now. This is insane. One of the cool things about this road is we made it all the way from south to north, but we get to do all of it again when we're going back south. So we get to stop by these really cool, I mean, this is a good lookout point where you can just see where the road curves. And then, we live in a beautiful world, don't we? We need to start appreciating it more, regardless to where it is. I mean, you know, from we Africa. We stepped off at a little lake. It over. is so beautiful. The weather is perfect now that we're down the mountain. And we are back on the lookout for bears. So far, we've seen three. I feel like my goal is four. Or five. I don't know. We'll see. And right after we got back in the car, we saw bear number four. And he was honestly a very, very big one. Little did we know we were about to see a lot more. And we were about to crush my goals of seeing four bears, five bears, and a lot more. This was our fifth bear here. He was right next to the road and he was so big that we got to see the cutest little cub in the entire world. The mom was just munching on whatever she's munching on down there and the cub was just so stinking cute. I didn't expect bears to seem cute to me, but did they do? But I, I think they're going to be cute from within the confines of a, of a vehicle, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to be going up to them now in no time. Now we are at bear number eight. Eight bears so far. And this one was a little bit shy, just hiding under the railing. Ten? Eleven! Eleven! Oh, those cubs are so stinky cute. And then we saw two teeny tiny little infant cubs with their mom and these were seriously the tiniest little bears i have ever seen and their mom was well she was pretty big
And last but not least, we saw bear number 12. I cannot believe that we saw 12 bears here on this highway. That's why they better set it rule. People are feeding them. Majestic. And of course, it was pretty obvious That's that why. these bears were pretty used to being fed, yeah. unfortunately. It is illegal here in Romania to feed the bears, so just remember, wildlife is meant to be wild, and we thank you so much for watching this video, and we hope that... Oh my goodness, I thoroughly enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed this video. Oh Lord. It's kind of strange because being up there among the clouds and stuff, uh, the, the tallest peak on Grenada is Mount St. Catherine. You know? And on certain days when you, when you go up there, you could be in the clouds too. And it's not as high as this, but you, you could be in the clouds too. Because I remember driving up to go see my dad and he lived in the northern side of the island and we live on the southern tip of the island. Uh, driving up there, uh, we would go into the clouds. You know what I mean? You could still see because it, it didn't come all the way down, but you know, at, at certain points you go into it and stuff like that. But this is great. This is a beautiful place, man. Oh, man. I know my buddy would love driving to, driving on that highway, oh, that uh, road. He would love to drive that with all those turns and curves and stuff because my man is a driving fanatic. <laughs> Anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. You know what I mean? I really enjoyed this. And uh, hey, I'll leave a link in the description to this video. These people seem to be traveling through Europe. So go check out their channel, see what they have going on and thing there, you know. Give them a, a little, you know, a little watch and thing, see what go on and all of that, you know. I hope you guys are having a good day, man, you know. It's a little bit rainy here. I actually heard a bird outside here just a, just a minute ago. <laughs> love nature i love nature but uh i leave links to other videos that i've done uh i've reacted to on romania and other countries to mainly ireland canada and uh, i'm going to be doing slovenia i do believe and possibly georgia too here shortly uh canada also i've always been doing canada beautiful place it's another place man. we need to start we need to start a group Everybody's just traveling to everybody, you know what I mean? And uh, you stay with each other. That way you won't have to spend in expensive hotels and you show each other around, meet each other friends, become friends. It's kind of like pen pals, but only uh, face, face to face. You all take care of each other, all right?